Welcome back to the 84th episode of a close combat longest day playthrough with the Germans in the Grand Campaign on Elite Difficulty. And, uh, well, it is the second turn of the second day. So, uh, uh, well, we have, I think it is, I counted it, it's nine uh, remaining allied battle groups across the map. So I'm hoping we can finish all those off before the third waves land. And by doing so, win the game. Anyway, we're going to keep moving these guys down east, and over here we have these guys. There might be a meeting engagement. These guys might push out to attack. If they don't, we will attack. At least get the attack started and gain some ground. Uh, not sure what we're up against, but the uh, second wave force that we fought here wasn't as well equipped as the first wave forces. So, if that's the case as well, then we might have a chance with this setup. To attack, even at least to gain some ground. I mean, we have anti tank or anti tank uh, capabilities, so mainly two anti tank guns. Um, so we, we have to gain a little bit of ground and then you know keep it going. But if we look at these various, uh, do I send in the Falchenjäger dudes? Maybe not. Like, let's go with these guys. Send the Falchenjägers over here, and yeah, so there's a couple of tanks left here. We are uh, we have pushed back to the beach, so we have them at the beach now. Should be able to finish this uh, this battle here. I'm hoping at least. And we're going to uh, going to just start moving other units further east and whatnot. This Falschenjäger regiment, we're going to move them down here so they can come and kick in and do something somewhere. It's a little bit problematical here. We don't have anything left really in this uh, this unit. Oh, we can't actually send them anywhere either. Can we disband them? Just, yeah, there, there we go. They're disbanded. It's whatever. We're going to come in here with these guys instead and attack. So, we'll see what happens. Might be a meeting engagement here with the Falschenjäger regiment. But if so, it's whatever. We don't have too much anti-tank capability with these guys either. And they do have a bit of tanks. So, it could go poorly. But we're going to have to give it a go. Either way, on this beach, uh, dog green, if we cannot have dog shit, stupid stuff happen on it, then that can be fine. Uh, you might as well see when the time comes. There's been a lot of dumb stuff going on there. I th we could almost disband these guys, but I mean, might as well have them on the map. It's just the Sugtruff team. But Move these guys down here. What I want to do is have Schnelle Brigade move uh, over here so we don't have any anti-tank stuff left with them. And these guys do still have some tanks left. And we're coming in in Bayor with uh, the 25th, uh, or whatever is it? 25th SS Panzer Grenadiers from the 12th SS Panzer Division. They have some tanks and such, so we're going to take on the enemy here that still isn't out of fuel. Is that because... Uh, is that because this thing is connected to her? Because it isn't. You can't move directly from this to Bayor. And this isn't really controlled by the Allies either, so I don't know how the hell they are getting supplies through and fuel and everything. But oh well. Uh, in the Allo Manchester, we now have one remaining anti-tank gun, and it might be enough, because we caused a serious amount of damage to their armored contingent last time. So we'll see when that battle occurs, what, uh, what will be the outcome of that. Over here... Well, uh, we're still just defending. Well, we have been just defending. We're going to move in our armor division, and we'll move these guys just back one uh, one step. And these guys here can actually, uh, we'll move these guys. Oh, we can't move them down there. Okay, well, we'll move these guys in on this beach. These guys here can go to Oysterham, because we're going to come in here with the mechanized division, or the mechanized detachment from the 21st Panzer Division. Let's see if we can't finish this off. And we'll move these guys here. Uh, just further west, and these guys also. So that is pretty much this. Uh, I just want to see actually in the Panzer edition. Okay, we didn't lose the immobilized uh, Panzerfeld Halbitzer, and it looks like one of the Panzer force that was uh, damaged is still operational. So we lost. Uh, well, still quite a few tanks, like four tanks on this one. All things counted. We'll, we'll, we'll see when we look at the reserve list, but 
Anyway, I'm giving a mortal strike to these guys, sir, because they, I feel, might be the ones that need it the most. Well, honestly, um, could be we need it there as well, but it's not really that effective necessarily. We'll see. Execute, and okay, these guys have moved off the beach, so it's going to be a meeting engagement here. Um, that's fine, I guess. Uh, well, we do have a lot of, well, a few Panzer Shreks. I don't know, actually. I haven't fought with any of these Falschenjäger regiments yet, so I don't know what they actually have in reserves, so we'll have to figure that out, I guess. But other than that, it's pretty straightforward for the east. And, uh, okay, we are attacking Uncle Red. They have Sherman, so this could be a bit of a struggle for sure. But by the end of it all, I'm hoping we can actually finish this. So let's see. Uncle Red will be the first battle. Okay, let's have a look at the map. Yeah, we're coming in here. We don't really have control of that much. And the... Uh, whoa, something's glitching out a bit there. The enemy does have quite a few tanks, which is a bit of a problem. But we have more reserves that we can send in next turn, should shit go bad this turn. That have some potential anti-tank capabilities. We just have to see. We'll give them a uh, company HQ, three ball teams, and let's say a 30 cal team. Company HQ, three rifle teams, 30 cal. I could give them 50 cal, but if I'm being fair, when I played with the allies, I was just holding back on the 50 cals and using 30 cals all the damn time, so I feel like I want them to do that too. Either way, and a whole uh, support team here, just full of Shermans, so. You know, just making life as hard as possible for myself, I guess. Anyway, let's have a look here. We are, oh wow, we're quite low on resources, sir. Oh yeah. Actually, we're going to revert that. And if I put in just a regular grenadier team, a random grenadier team. Right, okay. We can get them with better experience, is my point. I will try a little bit there we go. Grenadiers do have a Panzerfaust each, so if I could have them with seen battle rather than combat training, that would be good, but I mean, it's limited how much I can bother clicking this. There we go. So, Panzerjäger, I'm not too keen on that. Oh, is there another Grenadier team? Uh, maybe upgrade them a little bit in experience too by cheesing the game a little bit. There we go. Uh... Does this have less crew than it really should have? I think so. Yeah, okay, so we... And that might be the case for this one as well. No, it wasn't the case for the goddamn it. But it was the case for that one. Okay, so we're gonna put in Grenadiers again. We're gonna just spam click this shit until they have seen battle. There we go, and there we go, good. Um, 7.5 centimeter pack 40, we're pulling that in there, and okay, well, all the serves are very limited. And I guess instead of a Grenadier MG team, although they could come in handy. Um, maybe we should have a Panzerjäger team, actually. Not a huge fan, they only have one Panzerfaust. Oof, this is not this is not good to attack with. Well, I'm gonna say we have eight Grenadier teams, a Panzerjäger, some anti-tank stuff, nine Grenadier teams actually, a couple of heavy machine guns. I mean, it could work out. You never know. I have my doubts, but as I said, you never know. What's this anti-tank infantry gun? Ah, it's this one. Okay. Can we put that in the building? Probably not. Guess not. Now they have five tanks, so that's obviously an issue. Um, the terrain here is also an issue. There's a freaking hill. Wow. Well, that might be that bad. I don't know. I wouldn't. I wouldn't exactly say these guys are kind of throwaway, but they kind of are. If we fail with these guys, we send in someone else to hopefully not fail with. 
I'll put the anti tank guns there and maybe the anti infantry gun. A little bit further ahead if I can to get shots close by. I mean, the, the terrain is really working against me here. Um, just get the infantry gun set up here, I guess. Yeah, I get, we need to gain some ground so we can deploy our anti tank stuff better next time. That being said, let's get the heavy machine gun teams up in this building here. And we have these Panzerjäger dudes. Uh, where are they exactly? Here. Just gonna put them on ambush here, I think. Just uh, have them ready with the one charge they might be able to throw at an enemy tank. Probably not. Either way, get a heavy machine gun team here, and then we have nine grenadier teams. I'm a bit reluctant to make moves immediately, not gonna lie. Um, can put these guys on the fan wherever they are. So, like this, we have a Grenadier team here as well, we can make some moves. In due time, I guess. Uh, maybe underneath here we can hide something. Um, get some Grenadiers in the building as well. There's a tank nearby that could be useful. I don't want to start moving anywhere immediately. I want to see what the fuck we're dealing with right away before making any real moves on the enemy. Except... Um, I want maybe two Grenadier teams to go up here and take one of these away. Just to kind of create a little bit of a flanking maneuver. So if I'm thinking this through now, which I'm probably not, then I'm probably doing a lot of stupid shit. We can maybe push up and get these houses, but it's I don't want to do it immediately. So let's see what happens. There's a tank right there. Do we have shots in that though? Yes, we do. It's damaged and mobilized. Uh... Oof, come on, man. These Shermans are just too, too, too slow. Ridiculously slow in this game, if I'm being honest. Okay, well, there is a uh, Sherman as well. We can probably not shoot at it with any of our anti tank stuff there. Um, I should sneak these heavy machine gun teams back. Put these guys in ambush as they haven't been spotted yet. Sneak in the Grenadier sir, to engage the uh, Sherman. Hey, I mean, we got a tank right there. Blast it. Blast it. Blast the living hell out of it. Give it hell. Beautiful. Okay, well, thank fuck we've actually taken out two of the enemy tanks so far. And that's another one of them. Maybe we can move in these guys if we also distract the enemy by moving in some other shit simultaneously. And then we can maybe get that Panzerfaust off on the Sherman. They are not really making the moves I need them to, but maybe they will soon. We have a massive volume of fire going out there. Should keep the enemy busy, I hope. Okay, the showman is busy, so if you get into this house, they'll sneak over to the corner. And oh, there's another showman. And there's this showman. Mm. Yeah, it's not ideal. But we can maybe gain some ground for our next deployment phase. They just sneak over here with these guys. Maybe move another Grenadier team into this house, just in case. Taking a lot of casualties, but if we can inflict more casualties on enemy armor, we can come in with more, like, other reinforcements next time. We'll have to fight from the get-go here again if we do, but... Michael got Damn it, they've been spotted. Fire off their pencil fast, please, if you can. Please, 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 pretty please. Useless cunts. Okay, so these Grenadiers said, maybe we can sneak them over here to get a shot on the Sherman. Taking a lot of Grenadier casualties here, because I don't really care too much, and I'm being a bit sloppy, not gonna lie. Could certainly do better if I tried, but I guess I'm just not even trying. Can't use the heavy machine gun teams. 
unfortunately. Maybe put these guys in ambush here. Okay, so these one of us here, we can maybe move them down this way and sneak them up to the tanks. Not likely to work, but it could work. Okay, so we lost those into the teams. That's just how it goes, I guess. I need this tank to move closer here, otherwise we can't really... If it moves either way. Like, if it gets close to this building, we have some panzer cars we can use, but... And we have the infantry gun, but... Uh... Okay, it seems like these guys have been spotted. Were they taking fire right now? Yes, they were, so let's sneak them back. Sneak these guys over here, hope they don't get seen on the way. I mean, we have some reserves, so if we can get a truce, but gain a little bit more ground before we do it, then that might work. We can have three tanks, or two tanks, so that's two-fifths of the tanks they had. Uh, can you guys please just stay hidden somewhere in this house that you are getting shot to pieces? I guess we put these guys in ambush. So we don't risk too much with them. I mean, we can keep pushing in the rifle teams this way and that's fine. We have these guns uh, ready to shoot at it, so... Once they come over here, they will start taking fire and life can possibly be good. I think that <laughs> Sherman detonated a guy when it blew up there. Okay, what I'm gonna do is actually move to the edge here. With a gun and their team, and the edge here with a gun and their team. And probably gonna get shot by the Sherman, so that sucks, but let's go. Sneak this uh, heavy machine gun team over there. Yes, I mean, we were gonna take fire, that's what, it, what it is. Just keep going. You're more likely to die if you stop. Just if you go five more meters ahead, you're safe. But you stop instead and die. So whose fault is that, really, if you die then? Is it mine, or is it yours? I would argue, it's fucking yours. Move, you fucking clowns, come on. Right, I'm just trying to gain some ground so we can deploy better next time, really. But in order to do the fuck, they throw the tank away, so... Well, that's great. Uh, we've taken out some of the infantry, for sure. And uh, this uh, SMG team here, I don't know, we can maybe try to send them just on some long ass detour around here. Try to get to one of these strong points or something. Sneak these guys out here. What's the range? What's the distance? Uh, yeah, I'll try not to go in outside of range. Well, these kind of dust, uh, we'll sneak them back so we don't lose them. They're still alive. Oh, I mean, they still have enough numbers to them. Actually, you guys just stop here. Don't move any further now. There's a chance these tanks could push through, and then we could have shots on them at some point. These kind of deals are taking fire. Let's sneak them back. Sneak these guys over here. Heavy machine gun teams taking fire, but we might have gained some more ground to deploy on next deployment phase. Um. To come in here with tanks, we might be good. Let me get these guys. Uh, just gonna hold the rail here. Put these guys. Ah, don't shoot! You give away your position! Fuck, just as I go to tell them not to shoot, they just have to shoot off one bullet just before that. Of course. You know, just of course they do. Put these guys in the fend, I think. So they at least fight back. But I'm hoping they will move the tanks in. We lost that gun and their team, that's just life, I guess, unfortunately. And, uh, yeah. Maybe we can sneak these guys. Well, let's take this position first and sneak down here so we can deploy along this entire tree line next time. Still have all the uh, anti tank guns. So, if we're lucky. Oh, yes, 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 that's, that's what I want to see. You do that, that's good. That's very nice, very nice of you. 
Oh, come on. Oh, for fuck's sake. Well, there goes our anti-tank shit. Can you get him, though? Can you bloody get him? Okay, maybe we can... Uh, maybe we can... Panzer past that tank. Can you guys not suck and kill that command tank? You think? Would it be possible? You think? I bet the Grenadiers are gonna find some way to not fire the damn Panzer Schreck. Panzer Faust, I mean. Okay, we got that tank. Don't throw grenades. Use your anti tank weapon. Beautiful! Beautiful! Alright, we're claiming these buildings back with some infantry. Let's fucking go. Let's go, baby. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Motherfuckers, you're screwed now. Whew! We're doing good. I was doing actually quite horrible. But, this is a very salvageable, uh, salvageable position right now. There's one enemy tank left. And uh, let's see if we can locate that. God damn, this actually went a bit better than I expected, if I'm being honest. The enemy's morale is lower than mine, and I'm not sure they have too much infantry left, so... Good chance we can get some good stuff out of this. Alright, um... Yeah, I think we can move this heavy machine gun team just... over here, or something. That should do the trick. Sneak these guys over here, gain some more area to deploy in. Uh, yeah, that's fine. And, uh, yeah. They got no armor over here, so... This rifle team's dead. Firing like crazy some other shit they have. I'm actually gonna move these kind of deaths. Keep your head down. Just over here like this, and then we go to Till Green, take this pillbox, maybe move down on the beach or something, gain ourselves some... Uh, some places to deploy. Overrun whatever the fuck is there, I'm not sure where it is even. Where is it? There's some infantry here somewhere. Move the heavy machine gun team past. I would like to get ice on that remaining tank they have. Okay, now we got the ice on it. Good, well we just keep gaining ground. This actually went uh, beyond all expectation for me. Um, Quite happy with the results, sir. Grenades are going out from somewhere here, though. There's some info, there's one guy here, or some infantry team, who knows what it is. Could be a vehicle crew. Yeah, I know the command vehicle crew uh, has a couple of grenades. And what, there's two grenades, they told me I was the command crew. Alright, okay, well they got some shit out on the beach as well. But we can take the bunker now. Uh, which is kind of risky, actually, considering the tank over here. Alright, let's just get these guys defending. These guys are just chilling on the beach. So they're not that dangerous. And I'm thinking we can maybe move the uh, heavy machine gun team actually all the way into this pillbox over here. Uh, sneak out into the trenches then, whatever. Just don't die. Whatever you do, do not die. And okay, there's some stuff here to fight, so I'll let these guys uh, fight that. Maybe sneak in these guys and get some shots here as well. I uh, just want these guys to be kind of ambushing this tank here if it tries to make any moves. Maybe stuff. Whoa, did you see that? Holy fucking hell. Yeah, I think we could move that in, but Jesus. <laughs> Can you not be in the bunker? Because you don't uh, actually have any cover in the bunker. The bunker's trash. Damn it, these guys are now removed from their reserves. Can you just fuck off, you're so trash. So trash, just charge these guys then. You're useless. Alright, put these guys in ambush here. Don't really dare push any further with them right now. Gain some gun. Can you please? Can you please? Can you guys also please? Okay, they're offering a truce, but they have done that for a while, and I am just not that interested. Well, I mean, I am, but not yet. There's more ground to be gained. Hmm. Okay, 
well. Defend with these guys, I guess. Sneak around, take some more victory locations. Okay, we are doing quite well. We're not doing poorly. We could have done a lot worse. I certainly wouldn't mind not losing the one anti tank gun, however, I can live with that. We're gonna take a little bit of a risk and see if we can get the shot on the shore. So probably we can, but maybe we can. Okay, screw that. Call into the damn crate and take cover there. Donadels, can you call over and secure one of these damn pillboxes? Can you take out the tank? Then we're really looking good. This thirty cal team is pissing me off. Tiny little bit, not gonna lie. Alright, okay, we'll just occupy this crate and I'll set up the MG there, it should be fine. Um, yeah, the hill is in the way. What is the height difference of three meters? Well, from where these guys are. Like four almost, three, four meters. Uh, these guns are taking too much casualties now. We gotta fall back with them so they don't lose any more men. Okay, I think we might want to take the truce soon then. Before this uh, coastal artillery just wrecks everything. Ah, we're fine. We just need to get out of the. Yeah, I mean, they're hitting their own dudes. So. Let's get the fuck out of here actually. Don't get killed by that. I want this pillbox to deploy it next time. Fuck, what I hit. Fuck, there goes that heavy machine gun team. Of course they fucking direct hit that. Oh, kinda wish I had a mortar team with me now to smoke off her. We're gonna lose these grenadiers anyway. They've taken too many casualties. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna throw a smoke out towards that tank. Then I'm gonna run towards it and try to blow it up. Did we lose the Grenadiers as well? We fucking did. Well, we've taken a lot of damn casualties, that's for sure. But we might have enough to sustain a further attack. Good, get the smoke out. And then fucking charge! Probably gonna get wiped out doing this, but... Worth taking a chance, I guess. We might be able to blast the damn tank off. Come on, get a little bit closer. Oh no! Ah, uh, yeah, I pretty much expected as much. It's fine. Well, these guys are dead no matter what. So are these guys. We're just gonna move fast. Try to gain as much ground that we don't already have as we can. And this, yeah, if we lose these teams, it's whatever, they're already lost, they've taken too many casualties to keep, um, keep being in the fight. Gonna run this guy over here, see what happens. Just trying to gain as much ground as I can, really. Oh, alright. Fuck. Well, of course. Well. Okay. These guys are uh, fatigued. Okay. Well, that's fine. I kind of want to gain a little bit more ground before I call it a day here, not gonna lie, so that we are in a better position next time around. Can maybe sneak out and take North Sector as well, who knows? These teams are lost anyway, so we might as well try to gain a little bit more terrain with them. I mean, look at this, there's so much KIA here. It's even ridiculous, but at least the enemy only has one tank left. So that... Uh, yeah, well, I guess that was bound to happen. It's just a crew over here, so it's not a big deal. Can't command this crew to do anything. I kind of want to keep these grenadiers. Our reserves are dwindling, so better keep them if we can, basically. We might be better off 
reinforcing the sector with another team, which means any ground we've gained now we give away again. But we could come in with some Panzerfausts. Yeah, Panzer. Wow. Now I'm saying Panzerfaust when I mean Panzer Schreck. I just keep mixing the. I, I say the opposite all the damn time. I don't even know why, but no. Yeah, uh, the Falschirmjäger team or another team, like we could come in with something else basically to hopefully have some anti-tank reserves and then uh, take out the tank, take out the infantry and defeat the enemy. Pretty sure we're going to be able to win this sector at least, that's for sure, before the third wave comes in. But I kinda, you know, I still have the infantry gun. You know what? I'm going to do a massive risk. It doesn't matter. I feel like if this doesn't work, we just rotate the guys, right? Uh, could I maybe move this uh, anti tank gun to get shots in the showroom? It would move so slowly, I might get stuck in the bushes as well. And the showman is, of course, looking this way, which isn't great. Um, okay, so 5.5 meters. When it gets to like 8 meters or something, it gets to around here. I can run out with these guys, to, or this guy, to distract the Sherman and give these guys a little bit of time to, uh, to shoot at it. But I don't know the timing, it's hard to tell with the terrain and like if I time it wrong then it's definitely not gonna work, so. There is that. Hmm. No, if we're rotating these guys next time around anyway, I'm gonna move these gunners kind of just over here. I don't think the showman should see them. And then we can have these. Ah, oh, you are kidding me! Oh wait, what? Ah, oh, damn it! It happened too soon. But maybe now we can roll these guys or this guy over here and uh, maybe take this victor location before we call it a day. I'm just really trying to inch out as much as I possibly fucking can from this, man. Damn it. Well, at least it's tried, I guess. Oh, come on, come on! He hasn't turned the gun all the way around yet! Oh! We got the victor location, though. We got the victor location. Unless they take it back, that's a good gain. That leaves us... But does it matter, though? I don't know how many reserves we have left. I'll have to check. I'll have to look at this episode when I'm done recording to see how much we actually have left. Because we have... One... We have an uh, infantry team and an anti-tank team. Uh, surviving anti-tank cannon and infantry team. That's it. Is that going to be enough to keep this going? Huh? I need to know that before making a decision on whether or not to do it. Um, Okay, you know what, you're getting really close, there's a risk they might retake this one, so just stand up and run the last bit, doesn't matter if you die, I don't even care. Then we'll take the truce. I don't think these guys will have any claim to the ground here, as they're just a vehicle crew. Uh, north sector, how's that north though? That's west and this is east. See, even the devs get this wrong. This is east, this is west. The devs don't get it right even. <laughs> Just confusing themselves with this shit. Either way, let's take that through. So, I mean, all in all, we've gained decent ground. We can deploy in better areas next time. And we can gain some dominance on this map. Took out four tanks. Heavy casualties on both sides. But, major German victory though. So that's pretty decent. Not even coming in with a, with a force that's good to attack with, just the AI ran into my anti-tank guns with the tanks and we managed to panzerfaust one of them, so yeah, pretty, pretty happy with that as well. Hope you enjoyed the episode, if you did, I would appreciate if you would consider leaving a like on it, and, you know, subscription, wouldn't mind that either, if you haven't already, but thank you for watching, and you can catch me in the next one. Have a good one.